Hello and welcome back to the fifth installment of Modern Industrialization Tutorials. Today we'll be going over rubber sheets and how to get them, why you'll need them, different ways to get them. Uh, so you can start your next step into the electrical age of this mod. So I've got a thing set up in front of us. Um, so first of all, you're going to have to get paper. It's going to start from paper. Um, so you can either get it from sugarcane. So this is, let's say, from a sugarcane farm, right? Uh, you can uh, use a compressor, and you'll get two paper per sugarcane, right? Or you can get it from wood. If you have a wood farm, some tree farm, I know there's some fully automated ones you can make, uh, and you'll get 24 paper per log by... You're going to macerate the log up, and you'll get 12 wood pulp each. And then each wood pulp mixed with water, and you get paper from it. You get two paper. So that's uh, 12, per, 12 pulp per log, two paper per pulp. So that's 24, right? And that's how you can get two different ways to get paper, really. Okay. Now, for the rubber part, right? It's just a small little setup. You can do it how you'd like, however you'd like. Um, so we've got coke dust you'll get from your coke oven that we've gone over in a previous episode. And water from your water pump, how, however you're getting water. You put in a mixer, and you'll mix them, and you'll get uh, this raw synthetic oil. Right? Now, if you're gonna put, now you're going to put that inside of a steam blast furnace, and it will produce synthetic oil. Right? So now there's... Uh, three main things you can do with this. There is four. You could use it to, you could burn it and use it as a fuel in uh, generators, fluid generators that you will obtain later on uh, in your in your progression. But it's not worth it to do that. Um, the first thing you could do is mix it with dyes and uh, kind of duplicate them in a sense. So you're going to synthetically create dyes. You can do this with with any of them right here. Uh, this little box up in the top right means that it's not consumed, right? You can also mix it with just paper, and you'll get two rubber sheets out of this. And then here, what you can do is if you grind up, we'll grab some sulfur, right? If you grind up where is it? Lignite coal crushed dust. You have a 20, yeah, no, you have a 50% chance to get sulfur every single one of these you crush or you macerate. And you get this from macerating your lignite ore, which you get from your quarry. So you take that sulfur dust and you mix it with your synthetic oil, and that gives you. Let's speed this up a little bit. That will give you. Hmm. I don't have a thing for it. Uh, right here synthetic rubber and this synthetic rubber can be used to create paper I mean to create rubber sheets but way more so in this case you're gonna use a hundred synthetic rubber 100 millibuckets of synthetic rubber and one piece of paper and you're gonna get 12 rubber sheets out of that when this one right with, with synthetic oil you're only gonna get two per hundred millibuckets so if you're running your quarry already my recommendation, always go for the synthetic rubber. You're going to have all this extra sulfur you're not even using anyway. It's always a good idea to use the synthetic rubber to get your rubber sheets. Because, look, these start at the exact same time, and you're getting way more out of it. Way, way more. And that's really it. After this, now that you have rubber sheets, you can start using these rubber sheets to create your components. Analog circuit board with copper plates. We know how to get that. A capacitor with your rubber sheet, gold plates, and copper wire. Okay, wire you're going to get from using the wire mill. Right. So let's set this up really quickly. And we're going to get copper plates. We'll, we'll use copper plates. So you will need plates. And... Let's run this over here. And let's just give it a little bit of steam. 
And so pretty much, and it was very quick, even if we lower it down, right? And we'll get some copper plates. So you can get, you can use copper, uh, copper plates. You can use copper nickel plates. What other? I think those are really it for right now. You can do it for more, but you won't need it for now. Copper plates. Make your copper wire, right? And then copper nickel mate. You know, that's how you make your wire. And with your wires, what you can do is, again, mix them with, you know, with like a steel rod for an inductor, your capacitor. You'll need them for your analog circuits, which we'll get to in the next episode. Motors, which again, we'll get to in the next episode. And copper cables which is exactly what you need the rubber for. This is the big thing you need rubber for, for your cables. And you can also create cables in a packer and another method using a new machine that I will also introduce in a later episode. So this is your first step into using electric machines and getting out of the steam age. Everything else beyond this will produce quicker, easier to run, and just way more convenient altogether. And I'll be showing you how to go through all of it the best I can. So I hope that you will continue with me. And thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day.